Hi everyone, I'm June and welcome to my channel. I think it was long ago when I heard about Tad Williams. The Shadow March was the first series that I added to my TBR. I didn't know what it was about, but I like the covers. Yes, that's me. Then it was Memory, Sorrow and Thorn. And then I added Adolan. They were series that I wanted to read this year, starting with Memory, Sorrow and Thorn, but I couldn't get the books in the library, so I said, okay, never mind, until next time. But it was only a month ago when I found Adelan in a second-hand bookstore. Can you believe it cost around 30 cents only? The City of the Golden Shadow, first volume in the Adelan series, was written by Tad Williams and published in 1996. This is a science fiction book that, similar to Ready Player One, gives the feeling that it has something about fantasy, but it's not. It's mainly science fiction. Moid from Media Death Cult channel, did I say your name correctly? He mentioned already, Adelan is like Ready Player One, but better, and it's true. But why you didn't like Ready Player One? I think it was an amazing book, but yes, I mean, Adelan is much better. Let's talk about the plot of the book. Rainy Sulawayo is a teacher of, I think, virtual reality or something like that in South Africa. She lives with her father and her younger brother. Rainy happens to receive a new student called, let me try to pronounce it properly, Abu. Yes, I did it, right? Habu, who is a bushman, a small person who belongs to a group of Aboriginal people in Africa. Until here, everything goes kind of okay. But one day, Reni receives a call from her younger brother, who has hacked and entered illegally into a virtual club. He, together with two friends, seems to be in trouble. Reni can solve the problem, helps her brother, and that's it. But after some days, her brother sadly falls into coma. After trying different ways to cure her brother without any result, Rainy is sure that the reason why her brother is like that is because of this club in the virtual world. So she decides to investigate together with Klabu, just to know that her brother is not the only one suffering from this illness, and just to learn that there is something more complex huge and dangerous behind this virtual world. This book is very long, almost 1000 pages, but I really enjoyed it. I was reading some comments about this book, and some people seemed to like it, while others seemed to find it very basic. Even the rating seems to be average to high, the lowest rating among the four books of the series, so I might think that the series will get better. I don't know, I just don't mind the rating system anymore. The structure of the book seems to be a bit confusing. It starts with the story of Paul Jonas, who is a military fighting in the First World War. Then, in the second chapter, we start knowing about Rainy. Then, the third chapter is about another character, and so on. The main story is about Rainy, but in between chapters we will find more characters. Some stories seem to be like stories taken from a fantasy book, so it is really confusing at certain points. But the more you read, the more you will see and understand all these stories. And don't worry, at the end of the book all these stories will become one and you will see the whole picture. I know some people don't like this. They prefer to have a clear and only one storyline, but considering that it is a long book, it's fine to have different stories so you don't get bored from the same characters. And I think that is the point. You will feel intrigued about each story and little by little you will understand what is behind this virtual world. For a science fiction book, I found it very easy to read and understand. English is not my first language, so I have difficulties trying to understand some science fiction books. I'm not sure if some words are new to me or they are just invented words, so Otherland was easy to understand. 
It could be a shorter book because there are many stories, many characters and information added that maybe makes it a bit tedious to read. But in my case, I just like the book the way it is. The stories about Kabu gives the special feeling of being actually in Africa. So it's like you need those added stories or information to really feel that you are in this world or virtual world if that is the case. This book was really a surprise to me. I really need to read the second volume soon. Of course, I recommend this book. It will take you some time to read it, but it's totally worth. Okay, my friends, that's all for now. I hope you are doing great. As always, stay safe and be happy. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.